Well, hello, and uh, I'm very pleased uh, that I'm able to be here with you and talk about the Hospitality Management Program at Kendall College at, at National Lewis University. Uh, you're probably wondering, what am I talking about when I say preparing you for a fulfilling career in hospitality and tourism? What, what is that? Well, let me put that in the con a little bit of into context for you based on a lot of what Professor Watson was saying. So hospitality management is a specialized area within the business world. It is uh, its own sector of the economy and it is a huge sector of the economy, perhaps, perhaps one of the world's largest. Um, and what, what does it really entail? What are we really talking about here? Well, think about all the things that you like to do places you like to go. I mean, perhaps you're, uh, you like to go to the punch bowl social or spin or pinstripes, or you go to events like Lollapalooza or Taste of Chicago or your cousin's wedding, uh, or you like to go over to Navy Pier, uh, or uh, perhaps you're familiar with the Langham Hotel, one of the, one of the great hotels uh, in, the, in the world. Uh, or you've traveled to different places, different destinations uh, around the country, New York, Miami, maybe London or Paris. That is all hospitality and tourism. And the career uh, is that you get in that industry is all about making those experiences uh, available to the public and making them successful. And we're talking about management uh, and leadership positions that we in this program uh, are determined to help you uh, develop and uh, launch your career, uh, you know, coming right out of our program, much like what Professor Watson was saying, uh, that you know, our goal is always to get you uh, on the road to what you want to do. Uh, so um, you're probably also uh, wondering, is this why would this be right for me? Can I get the next slide, please? May I have the next, thank you. So, um, you know, it, what kind of person goes into hospitality management? It really attracts people who just like to work with other people and make them happy. And, and our students and our, uh, the professionals who come from our program are all very passionate about that. Here's a kind of a little quiz for you that I put together uh, that we use sometimes when we're having open houses. You know, so ask yourself, you know, are, these are statements about, you know, how you, feel about um, the workplace. So generally like to make friends and feel comfortable in large groups, enjoy helping others, whether asked or not, prefer to work in a group environment rather than alone, enjoy sharing new experiences, learning new things, and meeting people from different walks of life, enjoy planning dinner parties or dining out with family, uh, friends and family. Um, if you can answer yes to a few of these, Hospitality management may be a, a really, really good fit for you. Uh, and uh, so give me the next slide, please. And I'd like to tell you more about the, the, the program and the skills that we uh, try to develop for our students. Uh, the, many of the business skills that Professor Watson talked about, we develop in our students uh, very specifically to for just the hospitality environment. So we kind of look at the same, many of the same topics and areas of leadership and finance and uh, organizational um, development and behavior and service delivery uh, and marketing, many of those same topics, but we, we treat them and approach them as they pertain to specifically to the hot kinds of hospitality businesses that I've been mentioning uh, earlier in my presentation. So you get a full rounded view of the skills, the, the basic business skills, but you also have an opportunity to study here in Chicago. And there really is no better place to study hospitality and tourism. Chicago is you know, one of the biggest and most vibrant uh, markets in the world. Uh, we, we get more than 50 million tourism visitors a year to our uh, you know, world-class hotels, um, our incredible restaurants, uh, you know, many are uh, operated by well-known world-class chefs. Um, 
And basically one of the great things about um, our hospitality management program is you're right in the heart of that. You know, the, the, um, the city is your classroom. The city of Chicago is your classroom and being located as we are down on Michigan Avenue, right across from the Bean, which many of you will know, but maybe some of you will not know. The Bean is, a, is an uh, outdoor art installation that's uh, known worldwide. Um, but you have the opportunity to really be right in the heart of the hospitality and tourism industry. And you get out, our goal is to get you out there. Uh, you get to see it, you get to touch it, you get to feel it, you get to get involved with it. Uh, you, we make sure that you meet the leaders uh, of that industry. Um, we, um, of course, uh, have, you know, classroom classes in which, you know, we do many of the same things that you might do in a, any other in the business program where we do projects and interactive activities and group work and simulations and games and, and all of that. But probably one of the best highlights and most important aspects of what we offer in the hospitality program is the connections that we can make with, for you with the leaders of the um, hospitality industry. And so we bring, you know, uh, we take you out to site visits, we bring in guest speakers, uh, we involve you in hands-on projects uh, with actual uh, hospitality and tourism businesses. Uh, you have uh, great opportunities to do internships uh, and opportunities to unleash your creativity and leadership potential in that, in that environment. Uh, the other thing is that the faculty is all very, very involved in that, in, in the industry and has, have their own networks and their own connections. And they're able to give our students lots of one-on-one -on -one, uh, attention and also help them make connections to uh, get involved in those aspects of the hospitality industry that are their passion and their, and their interest areas. And of course, you know, as uh, Professor Watson said, we're all a little, in a little different space right now with the, with the COVID ep epidemic. And of course, we've had to adapt our, our classes to uh, Zoom and uh, you know um, online kinds of modalities. But again, we continue to strive for making those connections, even if it is through Zoom. So we have many of our guest speakers are coming in through the, the Zoom platform. Uh, and there are still opportunities to get out and go look at uh, look at things that interest our students uh, and, and so forth. So um, please go ahead and uh, share the next slide. Uh, the other thing is that you have an opportunity in the hospitality management area to specialize in one or more concentrations. That's a very big feature of our program. So as I mentioned, the core curriculum Everybody takes that in which you would gain those basic business skills in the, in the context of hospitality management uh, for operating any kind of hospitality business. But then you could choose from the concentrations and then focus your uh, additional coursework in those areas, really getting to be a specialist and getting deep understanding of how to, how to be a manager or leader in that type of business. So you might pick hotel lodging and really learn about how to uh, operate hotels, uh, resorts, um, and um, even um, other kinds of um, uh, uh, lodging and accommodation businesses. Food and beverage management, which really highlights and, and promotes the ability to manage or lead or perhaps even start uh, a restaurant or a food service kinds of business. Uh, another concentration is event planning. And that's where you, could, you would be able to uh, learn about the whole range of um, types of events that you might be able to uh, participate in um, planning for everything from uh, business meetings to conventions, to trade shows, to uh, music festivals, as I mentioned earlier. And then tourism, which really is our newest and one of our most exciting concentrations, which really opens up the whole world of understanding how 
uh, locations and destinations like the city of Chicago markets itself to um, uh, tourists and to business people uh, and to trade shows to come here and uh, be part of our vibrant um, uh, nightlife and hospitality environment. Now you, you have to choose one concentration, but actually the program is flexible enough that you can also work with, you may be able to take courses in two. So you can, you can combine some of these specializations uh, and, and learn, uh, you know, go very in depth about those specializations. Another very nice feature of being part of National Lewis and also aligned with the, the business school, um, as Professor Watson was saying, um, those who are in hospitality management also can take a minor in an area that they want to go deeper into. And so some of the minors that we do offer include culinary arts. We are, um, Kendall College also has a culinary arts program and hospitality management students can um, get some training and um, expertise in the culinary side of the business. Also in marketing, human resources, communications, and what's not mentioned here as Professor Watson was mentioning is also the entrepreneurship aspect of it. So you could be, you know, learn, be part of the hospitality management program. Let's say you took a food and beverage management concentration. You could then minor in um, entrepreneurship because you have it in your uh, plan or your desire to open a restaurant or open another kind of food service um, business. So the minors are a very nice adjunct to the concentrations with the idea that you can gain uh, uh, more depth and more knowledge in different aspects of, of the industry uh, and make yourself really more marketable and also allow you to truly pursue uh, the, the kinds of work and uh, passions that you have, you might have uh, for serving uh, the public in this, in this arena. May I have the next one? So as I mentioned about market of, marketable skills, again, like all NLU programs, uh, our philosophy is that you need to be able to uh, come out of our program uh, able to meet the needs of employers. And of course, we're very, always very involved in, in, with our employer population. Um, we have relationships with uh, you know, hundreds of, of uh, hospitality businesses in the Chicago region and of Illinois and, and elsewhere as well. Um, but we also have some specific credentials that you can gain just in the course of our program. And so I just wanted to mention a couple of them that are very uh, highly sought after and very useful in the hospitality marketing uh, marketplace. One is about hotel analytics. Uh, there is enormous need for people who can uh, review data and make sense of it as Professor Watson was mentioning. Only in this context, this is the kind of the operational side of the, the hotel industry um, the analytics that it takes to understand and operate that, that uh, aspect of the hotel business and the whole development of revenue and customer um, uh, demand in that environment. We also have uh, courses so that you could become a sommelier, which is a person who is a wine expert. And so you could develop your skills to be able to take that, um, those, earn those credentials. And another one that's just uh, also embedded in our program is the certified meeting planner. That is a, we de help develop the skills so that when you go out into the event industry, you are prepared to go ahead and take that CMP certification, which is a, uh, a very uh, helpful item to have on your resume, a very respected uh, credential in the industry. In addition, we provide a lot of other opportunities for you to enhance your resume with awards and recognition by having um, our students participate in industry competitions and events. Like a couple examples here uh, that are pictured here. One is um, a group of students entered the Chicago um, Flower Show and um, they, they had to do a tablescape, basically create a booth and a, and a setting. And, um, 
they won this competition under the direction of uh, Professor Paul Romer, who's pictured here with those students. Uh, another example is uh, we are always part of the uh, industry um, uh, trade shows and professional shows and professional organizational uh, events. Uh, here you can see every year uh, Kendall and hospitality management and also the culinary program participate in the National Restaurant Association show, which is a, a massive nationwide um, uh, trade show for anyone who's anyone with any kind of product or any kind of service um, for the food industry. So those are just a few examples. There are many more. There are many other opportunities in different aspects of our program, depending on what your interests are, what your passions are, uh, and where you want to go uh, in your career. Next slide, please. Thank you. So what I was going to also mention is that, again, uh, you know, just to reiterate, getting you out into the industry, getting you employed is a major focus. Um, we have a very high placement rate. Over 95% of our students have a, um, a job in the, in the industry within six months. And many of our students and our graduates work for uh, well-known worldwide brands all around the world in the hospitality industry. One of the, one of the nice things about the hospitality industry is its global reach. And we all know though that, you know, COVID-19 has affected us just in the same way that it has affected other businesses, but in some ways more so. Uh, but we're seeing all the signs and we're getting all the information that um, we're, we're really poised at this point for a post-pandemic rebound, which is going to open up many, many new jobs and career paths. And so students who enter this program now, by the time you get to even your first internship and you know, even before graduation, we'll be, start to see um, ex extensive opportunity, um, opportunities opening up. And some of the jobs that you might think about so that you're you know, really thinking about what specifically would I do? You know, what kinds of jobs are these exactly? So hotel managers from different levels in hotels, you know, from the people who run the food and beverage to the people who run the event planning to those who run the rooms to the general manager or even, uh, you know, a regional manager or a corporate job all of those op options are available to our students, our graduates. Hospitality sales and marketing is huge because there's so much competition in the industry. So there's always a need for people who know how to market hospitality businesses and have sales skills. And we work with you on developing those. We also, I also mentioned revenue management where you would use those analytical skills and those uh, statistical skills to make sure that enough revenue is coming in uh, for your uh, hospitality business. Um, event management I've met, mentioned, but I also wanna really highlight one, a couple more. One is digital hospitality and tourism is exploding. And uh, you all use so many of the tools and you'll be, of course, you're, I'm sure you're familiar with, you know, Airbnb and TripAdvisor and Yelp and, and all the, the ways that, that um, we use the digital environment now to access hospitality, food service, hotels, travel, and entertainment. The, the number of jobs in that arena is, is exploding. And so we want to help students who are interested in having those kinds of um, options and opportunities can, can work with us to get those, open those doors. Also destination marketing, as I mentioned, how do different locations, how does Chicago get tourists to come here? How does Chicago attract the big trade show that people then stay in our hotels and, and generate revenue for the, for the industry? Um, destination marketing is a continuing and a very interesting and necessary piece of the um, hospitality industry. And after COVID, it's going to be even more and more, more important as people, as um, the, each of these destinations uh, starts to try to recover uh, much of the, the travel that they had to, to forego for the period while we were in the, in the crisis. 
So that's a, that's a general uh, career outlook. Um, and I uh, really think that, uh, I hope that you, I know you're gonna hear from some students and you're gonna hear from some employers and um, those employers and students will echo many of the things I said about hospitality management and also how, and, and the dovetail that we have with, with the business um, program and how that could be a, a very valuable partnership for students who are interested in this area.